Hi guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is a makeup haul slash review. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are going cruelty free, which is so good. So I know that sometimes it is difficult to find brands that are cruelty free. So I thought I would share this one with you guys today. And no, this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to say any positive things about this company. However, the items were sent free of charge for review. So now you know. So if you have been watching my channel from the beginning, you may know that years ago I featured Nana Coco lip glosses in one of my favorites videos. It was the first Nana Coco item that I had ever seen and I absolutely loved them. So they have recently revamped their entire line. Now they are called Nana Coco Professional. So let's get into some of the products. So the first item I want to share with you guys I am wearing today, this is their Brow Styler Micro Pencil. And when they say micro, they are not kidding you. Look at how slim and thin this pencil is, you guys. It is so small, and you can get so precise with your brows with this pencil. I absolutely love it. This spoolie is even tiny. I think that is so adorable. And it's not difficult to use or to hold even though it is so tiny. I think it just allows you to be super precise and detailed and I have been loving this product. The next product I'm also wearing, it is how I got my winged liner today, and it is called the Finest Liquid Eyeliner. So this is just your typical liquid eyeliner. It is a little bit thicker to hold in your hand than any of my other liquid marker eyeliners, but it is blacker and more pigmented than any liquid liner I have ever tried. I would say that that is such a pro to me. I want it to be matte, I want it to be black and pigmented. However, if I had one thing to say about this, the tip is not quite as long as some of my other marker liners. I feel like the actual felt tip on some of my other ones are a little bit longer than this, and also they're a little bit more flexible. This one is sort of hard, and so you wanna be very, very careful and almost like press it into your skin rather than drag because you don't want to poke your eye out with that sharp tip. So I do think that this would be better if it was a little bit more flexible, but as far as the actual makeup itself, it's amazing and it lasts all day. So apparently Nana Coco also has like a sister company and it's called All Mine. And so they also sent over the double-sided silicone and puff blendy duo, which I have not had a chance to try. I actually am in the process of trying out so many new sponges and different applicators so I haven't had a chance to get to these yet and then this is the professional mini blendy sponges they are latex free in case you have an allergy but I did open these up and feel them and they are very very soft and squishy so I'm super excited to use these the feel in your hand is almost like a beauty blender so I am very very excited to try these out this one piece of hair is just being a rubble, so we're just gonna let it do what it wants. So the next two items are eyeshadow quads. Now they sent over two of them. One is in the shade Autumn and the other is in the shade Futuristic. Now I have to say that Futuristic was probably my least favorite of all the items in this box because the shadows were just a little bit patchy. They weren't real pigmented. I did have to go over them a couple of different times to even make the swatches. And of course the colors are just not exactly my type. These little lavender colors, not too much for me. And then the dark, dark black with the glitter. I'm not huge on shadows that are matte and have glitter. I'm either all about the matte shadows or just the bam glitter shadows. So. I don't like the mixture of the two. But as far as the autumn one, I really, really love this. The shades were super pigmented. I hope that they picked up in the photos, but the colors on these are so beautiful. So in this quad, you've got a beautiful cream, you have a gold, you have kind of like a rustic brown, and then an olive green that just has a little bit of a shimmer to it. As soon as I opened this quad, I was like, yes, this is so me. I love it. I can't wait to use it. And I did use it and I really liked it. Can I just talk about the packaging as well? This is so sturdy, you guys. And listen to it close. That's not opening in your makeup bag at all. If I didn't know any better, I would think this was definitely, just from the feel of my hand, a high-end luxury item. So the next item is a Nana Coco Professional Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Dark Purple. Now at first I wasn't that excited about this because I'm thinking to myself, I wear 
black eyeliner. I don't really wear purple or colored eyeliners that often, but when I swatched this, I was like, oh, that's kind of pretty. I think I might wear that. And especially, I think it might be cool for like an under eye look. So I was actually very impressed by this. And of course it is an auto liner, so I don't have to sharpen it, which is awesome. So the next item I want to share with you guys is their blush, and this is in the shade Peach Coral. I really like having peachy blushes. I feel like they're very neutral. They can be used in all seasons because sometimes those reddish pink hues are not for all seasons, and sometimes my skin tone just doesn't seem to like them, but typically peach tones are always good for me. So I really do like this. It's quite pigmented. The only thing I will say is there is a little bit of fallout with this. So... It is slightly powdery, like even right now looking at it, I can see some of the powder. It doesn't come off when I blow on it, but when you stick your brush in there, you want to go with a very light hand because a lot of it will come off. But nonetheless, it is blendable and I enjoyed this. So the next two items are something that I was super excited about. These are their Lipfinity Long Lasting Matte Lip Creams and they sent them in the shades On the Down Low and Sweet Truffle. I really like the shades that they chose. I think they work well for me. And these are basically liquid lipsticks. However, they are not completely transfer proof, although they do last quite a long time. I do like these. They're very comfortable on the lips and they do not dry completely matte. They are always a little tiny bit tacky from my experience, but I like them nonetheless and I really like this frosted frosted is it glass? I don't know if it's glass or plastic, but I really like this frosted packaging as well. So the next item I want to share with you guys is their contouring and strobing palette and this is what it looks like you guys. So look at these beautiful shades you've got in here. You've got a banana color and then you have a beautiful creamy colored highlight. Now this is not like a bam in your face highlight. This is more of a sheen, a very natural looking glow. So if you're looking for something that's just a little more subdued, this is your go-to highlight. And then it has two contouring shades. Now one is a little bit more reddish toned and I think that that would be better in the summertime. And then you've got a darker one, which I think is really great for carving out your cheekbones and just for giving an all over shadow in the places where you want it. So I really, really like that and I've been using that a lot. So the next item I have not had a chance to try yet, this is their HT Powder Foundation and this is in the shade Cool Beige. This is what it looks like, you guys. I really, really am excited to try this out. The packaging, obviously, yet again, is just so good. And then underneath the actual makeup product, you've got your little spongy applicator here, which I really like. And I think the back of it, I don't know why this appeals to me, but do you see there's like little holes all around this? And I think it's for when you put your sponge back in, it has room to breathe so that it doesn't get moldy which I think is just so thoughtful to put that in the packaging. So the next item I want to share with you guys is their Glisten Face and Body Pigment. Now these look very similar to the MAC pigments. They're just in a little container like this. And this is in the shade Copper. Now I'm a little sad because in the photos it's as if I could not capture the beautiful coppery metallicness of this pigment. It's like I just couldn't capture it to the fullest degree. So what you see in the photo, it's even better than that. It really is, and it lasts. I really, really enjoyed this. I can't wait to see what other kinds of colors they have as well. And staying on that metallic line, the next item is their Shimmer Talix Metallic Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Fall Rush. This actually reminds me of a Buxom lip gloss I had years ago that I absolutely loved and I used it all the time. This would be great as a topper, like maybe just in the center over like a brown lip for the fall. I am super excited for this. I don't think I would quite wear it a lot in the summer, but in the fall, winter time, yes, I will be using this for sure. So the next three items I wanna to talk to you guys are all about lips, and they actually have quite a few lines of lipsticks. So the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Liptastic Lipstick, and this is what they look like. They are just a slim line lipstick. I actually like this packaging. I like when the lipsticks are kind of shaped like this. It kind of reminds me of an old fashioned feel. I don't know why. But this is what they look like, and this is in the shade Pink Champagne. Now I have to say that this was actually, you'll notice in the swatch, quite sheer. So it almost goes on like a sheer flush of color. It's not quite a super pigmented color. So I'm not sure if all of them, if all of the shades are like that, if they're all a sheer glow. But I rather like this. 
The next one is their Nana Coco Professional Luxe Lip Lipstick in the shade Sweetheart. Now, this one was pigmented. This color is not exactly for me. It's more of like a strawberry pink with a little bit of gray in it. I honestly just don't like this color that much, but the pigment of the lipstick was really, really nice, and the formula was nice as well. So they also sent over one of their Matte Madness lipsticks, and this is in the shade Love Me Tender. I do like this color. This is definitely a dusty rose kind of color, and it's quite pigmented. I like the formula. It's really creamy, and as far as scent, it doesn't really have a scent. So if you are sensitive to scents, then this might be for you. So the next item that I want to share with you guys, I honestly, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't think I'm going to like that that much. I'm just not into eye pencils that much. But I was very surprised by this. This is their Eye Elusive Eyeshadow Pencil. And it is in the shade Royal. Now, when I went to swatch it, I was just kind of like, okay, okay. Then when I swatched it, I was like, whoa, I really, really like this to my very shocking surprise. I think that this would be great for like an inner corner highlight in the eye. So beautiful. Even as a base, it would be gorgeous. It's got a beautiful shimmer to it. It's just kind of like a champagne color. I really like this. So the last two items I want to share with you guys are their Glitz and Gloss Lip Glosses. Now you guys know, this is what drew me to Nana Coco was their glosses. They have such gorgeous pigmented glosses. So they sent these over in the shades Mocha Madness and Tiara. Mocha Madness is like a nude shade and then Tiara is a beautiful bright pink color. They're just so creamy. Are they sticky? That is the question of the day with all glosses. Um, a little bit, but not really. Not too, too much. And I definitely just... It's not something that bothers me at all. I love their glosses. And just so you know, they do still carry their, you know, regular glosses that I showed years ago. They do still produce those, so those have not gone anywhere. You can still get them. So that was my review slash haul for these Nana Coco products. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have tried Nana Coco in the past, tell me what are your favorite items. As far as pricing, they're about typical with indie brands, I would say. Not too high, not too low, so right there where you'd kind of expect it to be. But yes, I absolutely love them. I will leave the link to their website in the down bar so you can head on over there and check them out if you so desire. But as always, I thank you so much for watching Gloss and Sparkle. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!